This is part 5 of building an invoice management system with Django and it's gonna be uh, a quick one. So we will look at how to um, set up the database or the model in this video. Okay, so we're gonna build something like this. Oh, I'm gonna show you uh, the fields that we will need to build in this video. Alright, so I'm gonna start my um, existing application. I have to activate the environment okay and then run the server all right so I'm gonna um, do the local host you're gonna see what we have for this video all right so if I go to I have to refresh control refresh that so that the the uh, CSS files will load like if I go to add new invoice you can see we have customer name we have phone number invoice date line one quantity unit price line total we have line two with the quantity unit price and line total okay so all the way up to line five okay so if I click this uh, we have up to line ten but in this video I'm gonna just create up to line five all right so this is the table that I want to create in this video we're also gonna have the total and the paid checkbox and also the invoice type okay so all this code is right here on the block side and it is part five of this series so I'm gonna copy all this um, data right here or this class I'm gonna paste it in sublime all right so I'm gonna open models of py right here is where I'm gonna paste this code I'm gonna save it so you can see we have a model or a class called invoice and these are the fields that we are gonna create uh, in this video okay like I said we're gonna have uh, the invoice number the invoice date the name those are what you have right here the customer name the what did I say invoice name yeah invoice number uh, invoice date and the name so this will be the name field we have the phone number the invoice date all right um, so we will also have the comment I haven't shown the comment on this other application but I'm gonna leave it there for this new app that we're gonna build we're gonna have line one, line one quantity, line one unit price, line one total. And you're gonna have line two, the quantity unit and total price. Okay, so it's gonna repeat all the way up to line five. Okay, we're gonna have the phone number, the total balance, and so on. Okay, so this is gonna be our drop down, the invoice type. That is what we have right here. The invoice type and the checkbox is paid. Okay, a paid checkbox is right here where is it it's gonna be uh yep right here it's gonna be a boolean field okay so this will be um text field this will be an integer field you have a date field and another character field right here okay so i'm gonna use a max of 120 this will have a max of 3000 characters <coughs> and so on so you're gonna set blank true and null true for both of them okay we will want to allow the users to be able to leave this blank okay so but we will use the uh, forms to make our validations I'm gonna save this and then do make migrations alright so I'm done with this app I'm gonna close it I just wanted to show you what we are gonna do in this video we're not gonna do the CSS designs and so on those will come in the, the later videos so I'm gonna close this and then run uh, our new server okay I'm gonna deactivate the environment all right so I'm gonna run the the uh, invoice app that we're building the Django apps I'm gonna go into invoice management and then the environment 
activate the environment and move into the source folder and run the server all right before running the server i want to make sure that um we have this uh migrated i think i should see um the migrations uh, warning right here but nothing is coming so i'm just gonna do uh I don't mind the py make migrations okay all right so this is when we are supposed to see this error this is what i mean if i want to run the server when we have some migrations pending so it's going to give us this error and it is looking into this file there is a migration folder and the initial dot pi is what is going to use to run the database query and create these fields in the table and the table will be the invoice right here okay so i'm gonna uh do the i'm gonna stop the server and do python manager py migrate all right so this migrate command will create this table and that's what is running right here okay so i'm gonna um run the server so to test and see if these uh, tables are already created, one thing I can do is to go into the um, database and see that it is indeed created. So I'm going to go to um, Workbench. I'm going to open Workbench right there. And then confirm that this um, table is indeed created in the invoice table okay or in the invoice database so the invoice management database right here i'm going to expand it and go to tables you're going to have uh invoice management and then the invoice table right click all the table yeah right right here so you can see we have the id this is by default it will create it will create the id by default it's going to give us the comment invoice number invoice date name and all the other fields will be right there with a the data type and so on okay so i'm going to close this without altering it okay so that is just to confirm that the database or the table is created in the database so i'm going to go in the admin and then try to input data but before doing that we'll have to make sure uh, we register this invoice the table okay the model right here we're going to register it in admin so I'm gonna open uh, admin.py, which is right here, okay, and then register this table in it. So from the models, we're gonna import the invoice table, and we're gonna paste it right here. So what this one is, uh, I'm gonna go into the models file or the models module from the models import invoice. So it's gonna look into models of py and import this right here okay and then we can use it further down here that is to register it with the admin site so admin site dot register the invoice model right here i'm gonna save it but before saving it and running it i'm gonna go to the uh admin portal i'm gonna log in all right if i can remember my password okay i can't remember this username so i'll have to uh i'm gonna create another one i'm gonna stop this server and create another super user i'm gonna use test as a super user account uh, i'm gonna do test at test.com the password will be add the password confirm the password okay so i'm going to use test account to log in oh we need to start the server do a refresh okay we are in so right here i can go in there and then reset this password okay 
it looks like we didn't have that user account created okay so uh, this is the first time we're creating the user account so what I will do is I'm just gonna maintain this or I can create another user account right here okay but um, we don't need to do that yet all right so what I want to show you is this the uh, the table is not registered so if I click save right here okay if I save this and then uh, refresh the admin portal you should see that um, table appearing right here okay so you can click it and then add an invoice so you can see we have the comments you have the invoice number okay you have the date line one line two line three all the way down here so this is how to create your model and register it in the admin portal so if you fill this data okay or fill this table you click on save it should be able to save this information in your database okay so let's try that this is gonna be test comment you're gonna have invest as 001 that's gonna be the invest number we're gonna choose today's date as the invest date customer will be my name you're gonna have line one will be laptop the total or the quantity will be um one unit price let's say uh, five thousand dollars or whatever currency i'm not gonna fill the um the total oh let's just fill the total manually for now we're gonna do all this calculation in the future videos so i'm gonna i'm not gonna fill line two line three all the way up to line five i'm gonna use um this i'm gonna say it's an invoice so i'm gonna click save all right so that's an object right here oh so we will fix this in a different video um i want to show you how to uh list out the item name okay i'm gonna list show you how to list out the item name uh in another video okay but this is to confirm that the item is indeed saved and if we can go back to the um the database and do a query i'm gonna do a right click um select row you can see we have the item right here saved in the database so this is how easy it is to have your database con connected to django and have uh, it registered in admin and start inputting data i hope you find this video interesting and uh, useful all right so if you do don't forget to click on the like button if you have any corrections you can leave that in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video